untestable and unobservable properties um, with respect to philosophy of science is kind of um, a difficult thing, and a lot of theory and a lot of um, writing, you know, in the in the in the twentieth century, um, within analytic philosophy of science has been around um, theoretical terms and how those relate to observable terms, and also um, you know how untestable and unobservable properties factor into a f philosophy of science. First of all, a philosophy of science, what is meant by that is, and I have videos about this, um, it's about um, growth of knowledge, growing our knowledge and getting more of it um, about the world around us. You know, we have a world around us that through science and philosophy we want to know more about. And we do philosophy because we want to talk about the how and the what of science. That's personally what I think philosophy is about. Philosophy is about... Um, the you know the spec the speculative stuff behind science the how and what of science it's methodological with respect to science I think um, you know because there's theories that come from philosophy that have been applied through science and I think that philosophy is a, you know it's more speculative and I think philosophy and science together you know are um, together something that um, that is done to figure out more about about the world about the world around us and ourselves and um, so philosophy of science um, at least in the um, analytic respect is um, related to epistemology because it's about it's about knowledge of course and how to gain more of it and how justification is st structured and um, how to factor observation into the whole, into the whole thing. Um, now, I want to talk about, first of all, the observation and theoretical term distinction in, in through the, um, the logical positivists, and also under the, under determination of theory in uh, philosophy of science. Um, and these have to deal with possible unobservable and untestable um, properties um, and how that factors into, into philosophy of science. First of all, I have a video on the observation terms and theoretical terms distinction um, in, the, in, in, the, in the philosophy of science of the logical, of logical positivists. I have, a, I have a video about that, um, talking mostly about the article that Hilary Putnam wrote um, about it. And um, the whole thing between that is that the logical positivists, we, we had observation statements and, pro and protocol statements, which uh, were statements um, which had observ which has ob observational data in them. You know, if I see a certain sense data, you know, at a certain time and place, a pro an, an, an observation statement is like green here now, but a, pro a pr protocol statement is like stating, a ob stating observational uh, data, you know, in, in a past form, saying, um, you know whether whether the person's name is in the statement or not. Uh, this person saw a black patch of a certain size, size and shape at a place p in time t, and um, the foundationalists like Grew of Carnap and March Slick wanted to make sense data and protocol statements the ultimate foundation uh, to put all of, all of science on on top of. Otto Otto Neurath had a different idea as to how protocol statements work. And this whole thing, and I have videos about that, about that, about that stuff as well. Um, and um, I guess the, the whole thing I want to talk about is like because you know we think about this late a little bit later after the positivist, you know, after the positivist thing, you know, was less of a huge movement. It was thought of as the observation in terms and the, 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 the theoretical term distinction, and. Um, we have an observational term. What it, what a what a what a observation term is is a term that 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 contains um, data or content in it that we can observe. Um, you know, like a certain thing having being read in a certain size, color, and shape. Sense data, basically. Um, an an observation term or statements or phrase is something that can be verified through observation. And a theoretical term is something like 
you know these these spectrometer reads blah 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 or a certain sci- or a certain scientific apparatus reads blah 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 um, or the temperature reads thirty seven a certain temperature a certain temperature a certain temperature uh, thermometer reads a certain de- degrees of uh, Celsius um, you know or talking about neutrons electrons and protons um, the issue with that one is how can we verify a proton or neutrons and and electrons being in an atom which is a part of a huge molecule which is part of a huge organism um, you know how do we verify how can we verify that there are there that there's a certain number of valence electrons in, in in every in in every atom of a certain substance um, how can we verify that how can we verify that through ob- through observation um, I don't think that protons and neutrons and in in electrons are inherently ob- observational um, you know in reading from spectrometers and scientific apparatus you know those things and um, those have something to do with have are, are are kind of in a way related to observation, but they are not themselves observational. They are the, they are theoretical, and um, you know there are people like Bas von Frassen who um, defend the, the the observation and theoretical distinction, and um, then there's people like Putnam who um, who don't like it and, and try to bring it down. Um, I personally think that it's not the best one to have, but that's, you know, um, you know, I think going into articles by people like, um, Putnam, Grover, Grover Maxwell, and Bass Van Frassen, I think is, you know, um, a good way to, to read that, and, the, and, a, and a good, a good anthology for that is, um, Scientific Inquiry by, which is compiled by Klee, um, but I, I personally am on the, the side of Putnam that, um, the distinction is misplaced, and that it, and that and that and that it was created because of needs that that that, that aren't really there, or or needs that, that that have to be met that aren't really a big a big deal. It's a misplaced distinction made, and it doesn't really make that much sense. Um, you know, you can read that, and I talk a little more about that in um, the uh, the other video I made about that. But the the, the 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 theoretical terms are not entirely ob- observable. They are inferred from things that are ob- that are observable. Um, and but then I think um, the whole distinction there should probably be knocked down, I guess, and not really used. Um, so I think that. We wouldn't have the issue of unobservable and and, and untestable properties and entities um, if we don't look at things being observable or unobservable or testable and untestable. Um, I think that I personally um, I kind of agree with Carl with Carl Carl Popper, who is a who says that um, induction science is not really correct and that we should. Go go about science through fa- through falsification falsification rather rather than rather than verification and saying that this certain that this certain fact or this certain statement has been highly co- corroborated um, and saying that that it has withstood a lot of tests and there's there's issues with there, there's issues with Popper's um, opinion as well but you know in this it's it's all uh, you know kind of complicated stuff to to, to, talk, to talk, talk about I think you you should probably read it yourself. It's kind of a lot of interesting reads. Another, no, another good anthology is uh, Anthology by Boyd, Gasper, and Trout. Another good one there. Um, another issue with uh, with unobservable and, and untestable uh, entities and properties is the issue between underdetermination of theories and um, Quine and or uh, W.V. Quine and Pierre Duhem have a thesis about that but I'm just going to go over what what is meant by underdetermination of theories? Um, theories, first of all, they make assumptions, um, and they have kind of overriding assumptions about things, and they make predictions. Um, 
and the predictions coming out as false, true, true or false uh, leads to whether a theory is verified and kept. Um, and a theory being under underdetermined is um, where the current th thing, the current theory has been verified to to, to an extent, but lots of other, lots of other theories fit into this whole thing all the same. You know, there there isn't enough verification there to verify this theory alone, and through the through the through the verification of, or of this theory that 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 there is, many other theories could replace it. Um, and Quine, Quine and Duham talk about that as to how um, how that and how this relates to unobservable and 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 untestable entities. Um, personally. Thinking about these two things, the observable theoretical dis distinction and under and under de 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 under determination of theories, I think that a philosophy of science formulated would be best if it doesn't really look at science as to whether something is ob is is observable or not or testable or not, um, you know, and uh, try to avoid the testable, untestable, observable, unobservable distinctions. And, um, I don't know, I guess, I've been thinking a lot about this, and I guess what I, what I, what my opinions are are very vague, and I don't want to give them that, that, that much. But, um, you know, that's, this is just a little bit of a brief thing. Um, I, know, I know I've been gone off for, for 12, for 12 minutes, but, um, you know, I'm still kind of, Trying to write a, I'm still trying to write a, a writing sample for for grad school about some about some of this stuff. So, uh, if you have something to to contribute, if you want to talk about this, um, please comment. I'd love to I'd love to discuss with you. Or, or if you have a question about some of this stuff, uh, maybe I can answer answer it for you. Um, or or if you think I left something out in the in the in the dis, in the discussion of these topics, comment. I love I love to just I love to discuss discuss with you. Thank you.